Oh, you can already start to smell it, huh? Oh. Oh, it smells like dead fish. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Today, we are gonna be traveling down the Oregon coast from Yahats all the way to Reedsport, and we're gonna be stopping at several places along the way. Our first stop is here at Yahats State Park, which we literally just now got to, and I'm filming this in my car because the sun is really bright out there. But this state park is where the Yahats River meets the Pacific Ocean, and the waves are really big right now, and it looks really rocky and just really beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Hello. What do you see? There's like a lot of seagulls out here. Merrick's still working on his plush video. We've got Kira and Blaine with us. You can see like a little natural bridge right here. Looks really cool. I've decided to walk down here and get a closer look instead of looking from up above. It just looks so pretty because there's so many caves and stuff down here. This is so much cooler from close up. Whoa. Just south of Yahats is Cape Perpetua, and that is definitely worth the stop. But we're not gonna do it today because we just did it in our last video, so if you wanna see Cape Perpetua, check that out. But yeah, it has really cool things like Spouting Horn, Thor's Well, Cape Perpetua Lookout, and it's a really, really cool place to explore. We've stopped off the side of the road here to get some views of Hecate Head Lighthouse. I say Hecate Head, but I think some people also say Hasita. So Hecate, Hasita. I'm not sure which one is the proper way to pronounce it. I think people say it both ways. This is one of the most photographed lighthouses in the world. It's also one of the most haunted places on the West Coast. There's supposedly a ghost named Rue that lives there, and you can actually stay in the bed and breakfast at the lighthouse that's supposedly haunted, and people do report seeing the ghost there. From where we're standing, we can hear sea lions barking down at the beach. The sun is really bright right here, but we are at the Sea Lion Caves. This is one of the most iconic stops along the entire Oregon coast. I'm hoping the sea lions are gonna be here. I'm not sure because it's a really nice day, so they might be um, out and about, but winter is the best time to see them in the cave. And this is actually the largest sea cave in America. What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> is that so fun? Yeah. Here's the entrance. I think there's gonna be like an elevator that takes us down. We're gonna get a penny here. We get these everywhere. All right, now we're gonna go down these stairs. <gasps> Look! <laughs> wow, what is that? I know. <laughs> oh, bugs! Careful. All right, we're gonna go down more stairs here. Down here, it looks like, is the elevators. You can see, way over there is the lighthouse. There's a whole group of sea lions down there playing and swimming. Boys, it's gonna smell really bad in here, okay? It is? Yeah. What is it? Yep. It's, <laughs> it's going to smell like sea lion poop, probably. Yes. This uh, sea cave is completely natural. The sea lions come and go as they please. So sometimes if you come, there might not be any in the cave, but sometimes there's a lot. Oh, you can already start to smell it, huh? Oh. Oh, it smells like dead fish. <laughs> we're going down really far. It was, yeah. Oh, we're here. Whoa. Ah, this looks good. really cool. Do you hear that, Ryan? gonna go see what it looks like out here this is just a viewpoint oh guys check it out though there's a waterfall right here that's so pretty and then the lighthouse over there we have left the sea lion caves and now we're at Darlingtonia Wayside. I guess it's Darlingtonia is how you say it, which means pitcher plants, California pitcher plants, uh, which are carnivorous plants. They eat insects. So this is just a really, really short trail just so we can see the really cool plants. And we're letting Kira stretch her legs because she stayed in the car when we went to see the sea lions. These plants look so cool. Oh, <laughs> oh you scared Merrick. Bye, Merrick. Oh, 
he's running all the way back. <laughs> Man. I gotta say, I am pleasantly surprised. Like, that was way cooler than I expected it to be. I kind of thought it would be like the last time we did the pitcher plant boardwalk um, south of Grants Pass, but no, this one was way better. Just south of the Darlingtonia Wayside is the sand dunes. We're not gonna play in the sand today, but there is a really cool place called Sandmaster Park where you can do some sandboarding, and that would be so fun. That's something I definitely wanna do someday. Just not today, because <laughs> I think everyone's kind of eager to get on the road. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to walk up this. I can't do it. I cannot make it. Look at my shadow, like struggling. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not making any progress at all. Do you know how difficult it is to walk up a sand dune? Really difficult. Okay, we're on the road again. We're in Reedsport now, uh, but we are no longer on Highway 101. We've stopped at the Dean Creek Elk viewing area, and there are definitely elk here. They're all out there. I mean, this is really cool. If you've never seen elk before, you de are pretty much guaranteed to see them here. What is it? Uh, there's like questions, and under this are the answers. Oh, uh, cool, and it's all like about elk and stuff. <laughs> So I think this ends our little coastal road trip. Now we're just gonna head towards I-5 and go back to Grants Pass, so it won't be all that exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, but we're gonna talk about our favorite part of the day, which I have a feeling everyone's probably gonna have the same favorite part. Josh, what was your favorite part? Uh, the, the, the rocks at the coast. I liked uh, how uh, tumultuous the waves So it, the Yahat State Park at the very yeah. beginning. Uh, Raya, you're so silly. You have a hat. Yeah. I know what Raya's gonna say. I know what Raya's gonna say. I think. All right, uh, Raya, what was your favorite part of the day? Um, we, uh, Blaine, and Blaine, Blaine, Blaine hanging out Blaine with Blaine and Eric. Look. Did you like the sea lions? Yeah. Yeah. Look. Whoa, where'd Raya go? There she is. So my favorite part was hanging out with blah, me and Blaine. Blah. All right, Merrick, what was your favorite part? Uh, probably the sea lion caves. You like the sea lion caves? Mm -hmm. Blaine, what was yours? Sea lion caves. My favorite part was also the sea lion caves. Am I the only one that likes the coast here? I, I like the Oregon coast. That's just yeah, me. I do too. I, the I sea lion caves, they were just something like new and like something we haven't seen yet, you know. And Plus my, wildlife. My my thing with that though is just it was really short. There was only one, one area where you can see the sea lions. It, Needed better ventilation. <laughs> it was a cave. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was a little pricey just for going down and looking into a cave, but it was a really unique experience, so I liked it. And plus, it had some cool viewing outside, and we saw the sea lions like swimming in the water and stuff. So, anyways, I am gonna go ahead and end this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. See ya. <laughs>